So you're pretty competitive, like, in school and school. Uh-huh, across the board, yeah. um, anything, like, even our um, board games at home yeah. on a Sunday afternoon would get really competitive. What were you playing, like, Risk and... Like, yeah, risk I'd, yeah, like Monopoly or um, Dad and I used to play chess and stuff like oh, that. Oh, really? Yeah, and, like, Dad would never let... I've never beaten my dad at chess, really? ever. Yeah. <laughs> And right up until I left home, I'd never beaten my dad in a game of tennis, or like he'd never let me win. So, <laughs> so it was always really competitive. Um, I'd always be like trying to hit hard to beat him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I think that's a really good thing. I always had aspirations to make the Olympics and stuff like that, but I always wanted to be the first to do something. Yeah, right. Um, and so 47 seconds had never been broken historically, and it was seen as almost impossible. Yeah. And then they brought in these super suits, yeah. and two guys broke 47. Yeah. I was sort of like, oh, what's left now? You had guys who were just, you know, 6'6", 110 kilos, just these really big, powerful guys yeah. um, who could hold a lot of water and, you know, move over it. <clears throat> but the, the only reason that they were staying afloat was because these suits were holding them up. So these guys, take away the suit, were not natural swimmers. It sort of got rid of those benchmarks. Yeah. And now you can't get them back. Yeah. Like, hopefully I'll still break 47 seconds and be the first one to do it without a suit. Yeah. But it doesn't have the same meaning. Historically, 100 freestylers um, are always in their mid to late 20s because yeah. that's when you reach the peak of your power and yeah. get your man strength and all that stuff. But <laughs> it just never makes sense to me why. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. What can a 25-year-old do that I can't do right now? Yeah, right. I, I just can't get my head around that. I guess I'm a bit young and naive, but I feel yeah. like um, that I can, I can do everything that I could in four years' time. Regardless of how I perform at the Olympics, I know... My toughest critic is myself, yeah. um, and I could win three or four gold at the Olympics and not be happy with my performances. At the end of the day, there is a lot of pressure and expectation from the, the wider public, yeah. and you know, I accept it for what it is. I know it's there. I know I'm expected to win, and yeah. you know, I, I just do what I can to, to fulfil those expectations. Yeah.